for a counter pick. Makes like three others just to counter pick one of them. Drag go fresh off of Big House. I would say shirt implies. He did pretty good at Big House too, didn't he? Did he? Yeah, I think he made it to best of five. I didn't see his run. So. What? 65th? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's actually that's, really yeah, good. Of, that was a big of, tournament, yeah. too. That, I don't know how many were in Ultimate in particular, but I know overall it was a couple hundred. Okay, that's that's a lot. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good run. He uh, made a me to go random? Yeah, I said I was going all random. I don't know what he made me for. Maybe. You know you can't get me as true random, right? Like, I don't know. Well, he got <laughs> Dr. Mario, so... Got that's pretty close to a me character, right? Yeah. So it's like... Alright, so we got number one in Austin, Z3, representing Drift. <laughs> and we got Metafy.gg at Drago with the Dr. Mario off of random. We have number one, Austin's finest, Z3 versus Drago. <laughs> Pretty even game so far, though. Yeah, I mean, to be Ooh, fair. Oh, that was Dr. a weird interaction. You see that? Dr. Mario is just kind of. Like that hit cancel. Yeah. Could have comboed out of that if you reacted in time, but not quite. Put good position off stage. This is usually a really hard position for Dr. Mario. Barely to avoiding that edge guard and almost getting an edge guard of his own there. See him having just enough time to poke with that down air before having to upbeat. Not gonna hit, but you know, I do like to see when people are not afraid to turn bad situations into good ones. Right. So stuck at the ledge right now. Z3 gonna actually not get that back air. The one of the Z3 down air going unpunished like every other Austin player. In yeah, I was about to say nobody punishes Z3 nobody down air. Nobody punishes so the Z3 down air. Well, it is to, it, If you get hit by it, you just die. Yeah. I could die. I could die at 70 for that. You could. But Drago's living to 146 right now on this dog. Z3 trying to get this kill. Drago running away just the reflector. With a bomb, but no, nothing out of it. Not gonna get that down air out of it. Watch, she's gonna complain after just said about Bob not there being consistent. But she gets the Z3 down air. She's gonna come to us after the set and say, if I just had two link bomb. And Ella's gonna nod and agree. Oh yeah. And it would in fact yeah. make Young Link a way lamer character than he already is. Young Link is top 10 already. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that, but yeah, I do. I, I think Young Link will be better with Toon Link Bomb. I, I can agree with that, yeah. But, yeah. I play a lot of random, and when I get Toon Link, I literally am just pressing down B like 95% of the game just because I was like, I can just throw these around, they're going to blow up everywhere. So that's what Z3 does with arrows already, so. I mean, that game that started off really even, I don't really know what happened, and all of a sudden, Drago's at 110 on two socks left. <laughs> I guess he got that wall oh going into a really nice a call out. Random F smash. Yeah, just knew that he was gonna land right in his she was gonna land right in his face with an air. Z3 doing a good job of controlling the space. Calls out the reflector right there. Saw that he had been going for it this whole time. Yeah. Don't you dead if you can hit the down beat? <laughs> down smash. Oh, oh Z3 down air gonna take another stop. Probably hitting four digits by now. You know, how many stocks that move has taken? Oh, yeah. Pretty easy. Drago going for the true combo side beat to F smash. Yeah. Not gonna hit uh, Z3, barely getting the DI out. I was about to say, I don't even know how that is. Alright, but they have the down throw. Go for it, though. Got a shield. Tough spot for Drago right now. You ever think like we we should start looking at how many projectiles people use and like see how much higher Z3 projectile usage is on average per game compared to everyone else in Austin? I'm sure we could do that at some point. Gotta get a counter on stream. Z3 arrow. Yeah, counter. get those get the like the slippy stats but for ultimate. Yeah, well yeah, I know that's there, but. Alright, he's gonna use the Mino. No, because Slippy Stats tells you like neutral openings and stuff like that. That's really cool, to be honest. 
Drago looks like he thought about using the knee he made, but he's gonna stick with the random, and it's gonna be Sheik this time. <laughs> <laughs> so he went he went with a character that could now kill I do super believe early to a character that has a little bit of a harder time killing. Now I do believe this is probably the character that Z3 has the most losses to, so. That's fair. We'll see if the Drago We'll see if the Metafy.gg at Drago Sheik can come through here. <laughs> um, but I don't know, Z3 has looked really good in that first game and I mean, they, these are kind of similar characters where, like, they can either get a kill really early or they don't kill you until, like, 160, 170, but uh, Z3 is a practice is young player, and Drago, I'm sure he's played a lot of Sheik in his time as random, but definitely not a Sheik main by any means, so. I do like the way he's playing neutral, though, to be honest. He's just running away and using needles, and it just works. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he knows a lot about the character. He's been playing for as long as he has, and we've had a couple solid cheeks here in Austin a couple times, so. Surprised that uh, Z3 able to get that tech out before the bouncer gets landed, but. Z3 just doing a great job controlling space with the air and projectiles right now. Kind of all you need right in this matchup, it seems like, you know, up air. It looks hard because every time Sheik wants to jump in, it's just Z3 can throw out an air that works. And wow, that shield Almost tiny, breaking that shield. Tiny, good angle there to not get it poked. I'm doing the Dashiki bouncing fish. Not gonna work. I know. Z3, never afraid of the sick. I throw those arrows and he's gonna find the conversion off of that. But. All right, now it's Drago's turn in the driver's seat. Gonna miss that bouncing fish, though. Gets hit by the last hit of that up beat. Pretty tough spot to be in, but no real big punish out of it. Just gonna take the dash attack. Nice spot dodge with nothing out of it. Or until Drago spot, right? is really... It's getting a little too desperate for this kill here. You know, obviously, with Sheik, you really just gotta pick your openings. Yeah. That being said, like, he's doing a pretty good job so far. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's not taking damage, is what I was about to say, yeah. but uh, now he's already at kill for him, so. This is what Z3 does. Young Link in general, but Z3 is best, he's very good at that. Really wants his up smash, goes for the forward smash instead. Did she just auto cancel the down air before it came out? I didn't, I didn't know a Young Link could do that. I know Ness does that a lot. Oh, he's dead. You learn something new every day. Not oh, not quite, not quite. Maybe if he didn't get by those back hits in the middle, it would have been a little further to the left, but not in this case. The fourth oh. smash will do it. Three stocks to one, Z3 one stock away from going to winner semis. Drago on his left oh. side, turn him in right now. Double down air. Okay, all of a sudden, you are at 60. Jab, jab, air. Oh, nice yeah. inversion right there, 93. Quickly, Z3 is looking to make this uh, and swift it is over. finish. As I was saying, last stock, Z3 takes it. Not even a chance to breathe. Can't finish my sentence. And that's going to be a dominant 2-0 for Z3. I mean, I don't know. I feel like Drago maybe got some bad luck there. I feel like there's definitely other characters he could have gotten. That would have been better against Young Link.